Hey everybody, it's Millie. Back with another video. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I will be telling my story of how I found out. I was gay, lesbian, whatever, attracted to the same sex. Um, and my coming out story, which is not a typical coming out story. But anyway, Grab your water, your tea, your milk, your juice, your soda, your liquor, whatever you gotta grab. Got my water. <laughs> and I'm gonna try these. Have I never had these? Not random. I just wanted to try them because they're just random. Like, um, so let's get into the tea. <laughs> Alright, so I am not a busy relevant, but I'm 29 years old. Um, and I knew I was attracted to the same sex, literally, when I hit middle school. Yes, from that early on, I already knew it. So, to kind of back up in general, my first kiss that I ever had, I mean, it was a simple, like, petty kiss because it was, uh, I was very young, I'm not going to say the age, um, just literally, like, a peck on the lips or whatever was a girl <laughs> like that was the first time i ever kissed someone it was a girl it was actually my friends and like we were playing house and for some reason like we both came with this idea that we're just both going to be the mom it was just like kind of like we just said it just to say it we didn't know the meaning of it or anything like that um we back in the like the 90s and stuff like that because i was born in 89 Back in the 90s, like, you didn't see television shows about LGBT families. Um, so you could see two moms and two dads, and it wasn't normal to see that in the streets. So I wasn't exposed to it at all growing up, like, at all in the, like, in my family and TV. Sorry about that. I'm back. Kind of come. Had to come to a new, a new place to continue my story. But anyway, um, so the first time I have kissed someone, it was a girl. Even though it was just like a peck on the cheek, like I said, I was young and back to the age, but it was a girl. At that point, I wasn't, I wouldn't say I knew I was attracted to females. It kind of, like I said, it was just me and my friend playing house, and we just so happy that we were both gonna be the mom, whatever. Um, moving on, let's just say when I hit middle school, that's when I noticed, like, I was having these attractions for females. Um, and males, and it was like equal attraction, I guess, at the time. And it wasn't normalized again, I'm say in quotations. And so, of course, I always kind of like threw those feelings in the back of my mind. And I'm like, sorry if like the glares on my glasses because I'm near the window, I have a shot to get the light, it's ready. Um, I guess this is better. Um, so, yeah, in, high, in middle school, I knew that I was attracted to females, and, uh, but I was kind of threw it in the back of my mind because, um, you know, my friends didn't have partners that were the same sex, and I didn't know anyone in my family at the time that had anyone that had a partner of the same sex, and I didn't see it on TV. So to me, it was like I kind of just threw it in the back of my mind, and having a boyfriend was what was normal, and it's like stuff like that. Um, so, anyway, moving on forward the story, um, I did have, um, my first child a few weeks before I was 17 years old, and at that point, in my mind, me even being attracted to a female kind of went out the window, because I had this thing in my mind where I'm like, oh, you have a child, so you definitely cannot be with the female now to, like, you have to have that uh, that family, that family dynamic, the mom and the dad and the family, and like that's what a family is and blah blah blah. Because um, like I said, I wasn't exposed to it. I was never told anything negative about it. Like I never was told like, oh, that's bad and don't do that and like that's you know and you know sinful or whatever. I was never told that, but I also wasn't exposed to it for it to be so negative or positive. I wasn't exposed to it. Period. And Especially once I had my first child, like I said, I kind of was just like, well, I guess like being automatically it was like, 
then the females will be like something I do for quote unquote fun. Like flirt with the female will be okay, whatever. Uh, you know, dating a female will be fine, but never to take, or that I couldn't take them serious and be like long term in marriage and stuff like that. Um, so moving forward even more, I had uh, had the family thing going on. Then I had twins when I was 21. Uh, Destiny and Deshaun, and my oldest is Elena. Um, if you watch the other videos, then like you see them in a couple of videos and stuff like that. Um, I definitely, I feel like I won't say every child, but every, most people like they grow up with that family, you know, vibe that they want, like uh, the family and the kids and the house and whatever, whatever, like the whole dream that most of us like want. And so of course, like I had that and. Um, and, but I knew in the inside of me that I wanted to be with the female. But because everything was going the way society wanted and everyone was pleased with my lifestyle. Um, and I had my happy moments. I was never completely happy because I always knew something was missing within me. And honestly, at that point, I didn't know what it was. And I kind of just was like throwing it to the back of my mind. Um, I knew very hardcore I was into females already for sure by the time I was 21 like I wanted to flip with them I wanted to you know date them and everything like that but just like on the low like the only people that would know is like people close to me like my best friend and like and my small little circle that I would have um, and that's it like I personally wouldn't tell anyone I sometimes can't tell like if I'm looking directly at you people I'm looking at that but it's kind of hard my dear forgive me guys forgive me but um anyway I got more so when I actually um when I actually met my kid's father I was uh dating a girl at the time and uh well, mom, if you're watching this, you're going to find out now that Ashley was not my first girlfriend. But <laughs> I was dating a girl at the time. And, um, well, once, like, he knew I had a girlfriend and he didn't mind. And then she knew I was going to have a boyfriend and she didn't mind. Um, it wasn't polygamy or anything like that. Like, I wasn't, we weren't three together. It was like, I had two separate relationships. Um, but the moment that I got serious with him, I knew it was going to be something serious. I let her go and we were friends before we dated so we just went back to being friends um so yeah uh then that kind of went a little crazy but uh like the point is, is i knew i was into girls and but every time something was serious with the guy like i took that more serious because i always said like oh i can't be serious with the female and it just was I don't know how to really explain it was just in myself I guess I was scared of society I was scared of people would accept me because it wasn't like really acceptable like in my face or I'm outside in public stuff like that um, moving on so while I was with my his father we were together for a long time seven years eight years something like that no seven years and um, I mean that little things they irrelevant but relevant because during that time frame, like I knew within myself and I tried to let, you know, my partner, my significant other know uh, that I was missing like the female companionship and the, the female's like attention. And I knew it, so I would I let my significant other know so that it wasn't like a shock or anything like that. Um, and you know, and I'm not condoning, I'm going to put it here real big, I'm not condoning cheating, flirting, or anything while you're with someone because it's negative, it's wrong, you're wasting your time, your, partner, your partner's time, don't do it. But it's because it's, because it's part of my story, I have to include it. Um, I end up looking elsewhere. I downloaded this app that was for a woman, trying to date woman, and I found someone on there and it was supposed to be like just something to make me like to fill that kind of like that void I felt like I was missing um and we started flirting and then we started dating and it became serious and I actually 
I actually did love her and she did love me very much. And like when she started making plans about future wives, it scared me. And, and automatically it made me kind of jump back because, excuse me, my mind went again to the whole, like I have a family of, like I can't be with a girl. Like my family is me and the guy I'm with, which was also my fiance and my fiance and the kids. And like, that's my family and that's who I have to be together with. And I can't break that apart to go be with another woman. Like who, who does that? Who, what will people think of me? What will people say? You know, most people in the LGBT community, you guys already understand that part. It's like, what would people say? What would people do? Are people gonna treat me wrong? Am I gonna be looked down upon? Stuff like that. Um, things that unfortunately are very normal for us in the LGBT community. Um, moving along. I'm gonna open my little chips now. <laughs> if you're watching this long, then uh, thank you. I still have more of my story. And hopefully at the end of it all, you guys, um, sorry, hold on. You guys have learned how I can help you. So maybe you might relate to my story and not know that until you get a whole thing. But this is how they look. It's supposed to be like the Welch's Fruit Snacks, but Fruit Puffs. They look like cheese doodles. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tastes like cheese doodles, strawberry flavor. It just didn't work right for me, guys. If you guys want to try to do your thing, but that was a no no for my soul. Anyway, <laughs> by the way, I'm in my kids' room. It's like the house, like the bed, bunk bed, and all that stuff. Whatever. Anyway, let me keep going for you guys before you guys get tired of me. Um, move along, along. So it was like, I kind of fell back. But I didn't fall back because I wasn't attracted to her. Or I didn't love her and like that. Like, I was attracted to her. And I, every time I was with her, it was great time stuff like that. But because of my mindset, I was just like, and eh, gotta, you know, I can't do it. And I do want to say, um, like, moving on. I tried to, I, like right after that, it's like I, already, I still tried to make the relationship that I was in work and it wouldn't work. And like a lot of the reasons why my relationships probably didn't work is because um, like I always felt like something was missing. I was always a little bit unhappy. Um, even if the person I was with like did everything for me and did nothing wrong, stuff like that. Within myself, I just knew that something was missing and I was unhappy and I never knew what it was. But every time I was, if I was ever with a guy, I always went searching for a female. But I always kind of did it as a side thing. So I'm like, oh, I can't take it serious. It's just a side thing. I'm like, that's it type thing. You know. Um, played with some hearts in that way. Didn't intentionally mean to. And I'm so sorry to everyone. That I may have, like, broken their heart. That was me being in denial of my true self. And me being stupid and also selfish. And not worrying about like other people's feelings and how they will feel um you know us not being on the same page and stuff like that again i was younger and denial stuff like that um moving along after i broke go of my children's father i had one more relation with another guy um i'm not going to mention any names but i had another relation with another guy and I think two years in, I was missing the void again. And I directly told him, like, do you, do you mind if I have a girlfriend? Or do you mind if I, like, flirt with girls? Because I really, like, I missed it so much. Like, I really felt that void. Like, I haven't had a female companion in a long time. I haven't dated a female in a while I haven't had that connection with a female and I was missing it terribly um oh this is kind of better but I was missing it terribly and I was just like um I asked him and he actually said like he didn't want me to stop me from being me so he was okay with it and well I did I opened this app I opened an app called her and I met two females over there, no one. 
actually in person and did it like after just that one meetup I was just like no that was just like a whole waste of time like just no and then I kind of just gave up on the app and then in general like after such a for just a few weeks then I kind of just gave up in general on the idea and um I was just like you know what forget it if it's not meant to be it's like whatever um but that relationship that I was having at the moment was already kind of falling off because they knew I wasn't completely happy and and I knew within myself I was trying to find myself and that something was always missing and I couldn't find out what the hell was always missing from me like I couldn't get it and um so I'm not gonna get into the whole how I met Ashley but this is where she comes in uh 2016 um we actually 2006 April 2016 uh we finally were talking like we were co-workers before friends before we became where we are now that's my baby that's my heart that's my love that's my world um like we were co-workers for three years I guess I'm not gonna get to the whole how we met thing but we were co-workers for three years and but we never really talked it was August no April 2016 that we finally like we started communicating and talking and like even though it's just like hey how you doing or whatever like we started communicating and by August 2016 like we were ready like learning and everything and I was still trying to fix the relationship that I was in it was still in the same time frame my last one um I was still trying to fix that with him and at the same time um like she had a relationship so we had our own separate things that we were trying to like figure out on our own um but we did have a connection and we started like talking and flirting and it was like all supposed to be like innocent or whatever um then eventually we weren't like in those situations that we were in let's just say and um I'm going to just say that we built like feelings for each other stronger than we ever thought that it was going to happen. It wasn't planned. We didn't even like tell each other like, oh my God, I, I like, we, we weren't, like we weren't in the pathway of trying to even be together at all. Like that wasn't the plan. We never spoke about it, nothing. It kind of just happened. And, um, <laughs> okay and this is all like coming into the story of like how I found out that I was truly gay as fuck lesbian as fuck whatever the hell you want to label me as truly attracted to the same sex and it wasn't just um like for fun and it wasn't just to flirt and it wasn't just to in my downtime or just to like be happy on the side while I'm with a guy like meeting Ashley gave me all these feelings that I can't even freaking describe um <laughs> give me all these feelings that I that I that I never thought that I never truly thought within myself that I could have for a female like I said I did love a previous female or whatever um but the feelings that I call for Ashley that I have for Ashley I never knew that it could be that deep like I said I've never or maybe I didn't mention it but I've always told myself like flirting with the females was for fun but I could never see them long term because I can't get married to a female and I need my family like society wants it. Husband, wife, blah, blah, blah. Female, male type thing. Um, but the connection with Ashley was on real from the beginning. Um, even when we like try to put it on the pause where it's like um, for our own reasons. Still. No, it just the connection was there and it was there and it was there and it was there and it was undeniable and like crazy. Um, unfortunately, she already did have plans like in that moment uh, to move after she graduated from college. Um, but we were hanging out as friends and the feelings were still getting deeper and things were changing within us and it just was like happening, happening, happening. And I couldn't deny any moment. If it was like the previous me, I would have ran away. I would have been like, and eh, knock it down. Or I would have got scared or something from the way I was feeling. But I couldn't deny. I couldn't hold it back. 
and it was just going 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 um when she did move we already were together we were in a relationship we were their girlfriends and when she moved we did try to end it because of the distance like i'm in new york she's in florida if you're following us already you already know if not click that subscribe button click that bell so you don't mess the future videos because we pop it now we a little crazy we silly we like to do positive stuff and be happy so join the family but anyway um let's see so yeah we couldn't deny it and then we tried to just be friends because of the distance um but even distance even distance couldn't stop the love from building even distance couldn't stop the attraction that we have for each other even the distance couldn't stop like it couldn't stop us like period still can't stop us um but it just grew and grew and got stronger and stronger and the bond and the love and the attraction and the that yearning for each other and the connection just crazy just crazy and it was mutual so it wasn't like me more or her more it's mutual um just crazy how life works out sometimes and it's like um so yeah so if you guys are wondering like, oh but what happened with your other relationship or whatever whatever like the person knew the person knew about ashley um from the beginning uh they weren't friends or anything like that but we but um like he knew of her and stuff like that um so yeah like he knew and I was always very open like I didn't want to be closed and like lead anyone on to so I was very open and he knew like the feelings that I had for her and what I wanted to continue with her and what we were doing and stuff like that um so, so yeah like all that happens and um so yeah it was like something I couldn't deny and it was like once we knew it was real and it was like seriously official and things kept building and i would go over there she would come fly to see me and i'll go fly to see her and no one knew this how deep our connection was except for us like some people knew they're like they were talking or they didn't think that we were serious even if we said like yeah we're together we're girlfriends they didn't take us serious but we knew like from day one what it was and like i said we couldn't deny it i couldn't deny it and um like it just makes me smile because i am like truly happy and like finding her has been my happiness and i'm so thankful and i thank god and, and i just thank the universe <laughs> i thank the universe for bringing us you know together and like finding each other and being together so it's just crazy um so that's how i found out um that i knew for sure like i wasn't i wasn't worrying about like oh my god i want to be with the guy or and i wasn't worrying about like um oh my god but she's a female and like i was no longer scared i was no longer like petrified i was no longer against it i was no longer like am i sure like no i knew how i felt about her and the feelings were always so strong that i knew for a fact within myself i couldn't deny it i couldn't deny myself that love that happiness i couldn't deny the feelings like i couldn't deny my heart you know what i'm saying like my heart knew and I couldn't deny it. Like, that was it. Um, so that's, like, how I knew for a fact I knew that I was a lesbian. It took me a while. Like I said, I'm 29. Uh, we got really close right after I turned 27. So um, we are going to make two years soon. In November, we will make two years. That's my baby. Um, kind of uh, coming out continues on in the timeline. So after we knew that we were very serious... Um, and we had the talks and like she knew for a fact that she wanted to be with me long term and you know making the decision of being with me even though I have three kids and um, making sure that she was ready for the step in and comfortable and that's what she wanted and that's what I wanted and once we became to that mutual step together and we agreed that like we want long term and we see futures together and we're making plans like that's it like people have to find out i mean on her end like people at work and like people in her circle she had no problem like all the time like this is my baby this is my boo it's my girlfriend blah 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 and i'll just be there like well damn dang we're just going to everybody our business damn because <laughs> you know at that point i had to really come out like only people that knew i was attracted to females 
um, is anyone who's actually close to me, or like my best friend and stuff like that. And I will post various things like on social media. Like I go to Pride every year since 2011. And I've always posted it, but people probably thought I was a supporter or something like that. Like I never actually posted like, oh, I love women, or I kiss girls, or I've had girlfriends. I've never posted anything direct like that. But I have posted like things here and there, but people probably think I was just a supporter or, or something of like for the LGBTQ, not knowing I was actually a part of it. Um, so we saw so the first people like, I guess the actual people I actually came out to were my kids. Um, and the way that happened is uh, kind of weird. But I know the video is getting long, so I'm going to try to like sum it up quick. But the way that I finally decided to talk to the kids after we both decided it, like it was time to talk to them just to make sure that they were okay with us being together, that they weren't going to be uncomfortable, that they will understand. Like, that we, and, sorry about that. Um, anyway, I'm back. So how that worked was, like I said, we agreed that it was time for them to know just so we could know, like, their perspective. Obviously, like, their opinion matters to not only me, but they matter to her. And the fact that she wanted to make sure like they were okay with it automatically was a great thing because it means that she cared about them. Which I already know she did because, um, like I said, we already had hung out before she actually moved. She would come to the house so the kids already knew her, but they knew her as my friend. Everyone around me knew her as my friend, minus my best friend and my sister. <laughs> like, but that's it. Again, mom, if you're still watching, I love you. You found out eventually. <laughs> but, um,. So yeah, like even my mom knew her, but as my friend, about my parents and in general, whatever. Um, so I sat down with them and I just told them, like I had the whole breakdown of uh, like love is love, and like we don't judge people for being happy, we don't judge people who they are, we don't judge people for who they want to love and what makes them, you know, happy or whatever. And the whole, you know, I introduced it as in like, um, you guys may know what girlfriends and boyfriends are. So that's me and are eight now. They were seven when I had the conversation. Elena is 12. She was 11 when I had the conversation. I had just turned 11 when I had the conversation. Can't, no, 11. Okay, 7 and 11, whatever. So I had to make it age appropriate at the same time so that I make sure that the three of them understood what I was saying. And um, so I kind of just like brought it up like, oh, so what's a boyfriend? What's a girlfriend? Let's see your view, blah, blah, blah. Um, if you see a female and a male, guys, I'm recording on my phone and if someone else calls me, I think I'm going to have a So I asked him like if it's you see a guy and a girl holding hands walking down the street is that like is that is that normal or whatever or is that um like what do you think like nothing they go oh, like whatever if you see a guy and a guy holding hands is that normal whatever it's like well they're just holding hands a woman and a woman well they're just holding hands so I'm like okay so if you see a guy and a woman kissing in the street or whatever like I guess like whatever like their girlfriend boyfriend or whatever and I'm like so if you see a guy and a guy kissing in the street and then like they all were like earth like what like why would they and i just kept going and i was like if you see a woman woman and they said like why blah blah, blah. and at that point like i just told them i'm like so why do you find it different i'm picking i don't know what that is but i'm like um so i just kind of like went into it like so tell me i explained to you why you guys take it differently if, if they're all people and they're all human but different genders, why do you, I didn't say gender, they're just, it's a female and a male, like what makes them different or whatever when it comes to like being happy or loving someone and they kind of just literally was like, well Elena, cause she, older, she was just like, I don't know, it's weird and that's and Sean was just like, well I don't know, it's just, I don't know, but like why would they, like they just didn't understand it, so then I kind of just like went into it and I was just like, if someone loves someone, like that's what matters if someone is making someone happy that's what matters um don't judge someone for being happy would you want someone to judge you for being happy like in general do you want someone to judge you because of the way you walk the way you talk the way you look or anything and they were all like no like so that you don't judge someone for loving someone or for being happy or anything like that you don't judge someone for being themselves because you don't want to be judged and it's not a good thing to judge people um and we you know we got to that story and they understood or whatever. And then finally I just told them like, so how would you feel if mommy told you that she's dating a woman? How would you feel if mommy told you that she loves another female? 
like my mommy has a girlfriend or whatever and at that point like my oldest because she's old she's older um and like i said ashley has been around before we actually like made it public we never did anything like we didn't hold hands in front of the kids or kiss anything like that in front of the kids but i guess people always know vibes and people you know kids are smarter than what you think and even when you think they're not paying attention they are so my daughter gave me a little smirk because she was like mommy i know what you're gonna say and i was like no no maybe you don't like hold on let me just talk so that at all of you you know your brothers and your sisters your brother and your sister and you can hear at the same time but she kind of had that smirk like girl i know what you're about to say <laughs> you know she like 11 10 21 or whatever uh, but she's 12 now like i said but um and so they were kind of like huh like confused i mean not against them not like ill but they were just like wait what like you know confused so of course me as their mom i had to make them unconfused and make them understand and i kind of just told them like you know mommy loves another female and she makes me very happy um but we are in a relationship and she is my girlfriend and i just want you guys to know this because i don't want you to feel uncomfortable like when she's around and i don't want you to be unhappy i don't want you to be confused but i want you to know that we love each other and we make each other very happy and um and yeah and i just as you asked them like do you want your mom to be happy and they were like yeah and i was like are you going to love me any different and they were just like no but who's this female and like they had this whole like i guess like this view on like we're gonna meet like this random female like it's gonna be you know weird and i guess if it was someone they didn't know prior it could have possibly been weird um but then i finally told them like but you guys know her and you guys like her and like and at that point later was like mm -hmm, mommy i know i know don't say her name don't say her name don't, you know no you know what kids shit you know what kids do I'm like oh don't say her name don't say her name, don't say her name. And then eventually I was just like, it's Ashley. And they were, and then Elena was like, oh, I knew it, or like something like that. Um, and uh, Elena actually watches my video. So if you're still watching this, Elena, yes, you knew from the beginning. But um, <laughs> Destiny and Deshaun were just like, oh, we, we know her. Like, like at that point, they didn't even care. Oh, we know her. Like, all right, girl, bye. Like, why are you telling us? Okay, you think. <laughs> Not like that, but like that attitude they had. And I was, it made me laugh. It was like a laughing moment. And I was like, oh, no, you guys don't even care. Like, like no, mama, like, we know her. We like her. She's so funny. She's so cool. Like, when is she coming back over? And like, when are we going to go to her house? And so it made me feel so good at that moment because they accepted me. They accepted her. And they to us and it felt so good because as a parent in general um any parent biological parent step parent adoptive parent foster parent guardian leave guardianship like whatever when you are like guardians of, of a child like um my mom dropped i've been talking a lot by the way this one is long not sponsored, but this water's bomb. Like, who else drinks this? It's like, that's water. This is in Fiji. But I'd rather this over Fiji. I'd rather this over small water. And definitely over the sunny I'll clean up. Hold this up. Anyway, we can go on. But, um. I'm trying to see where I am. I was kind of lost my thought. Okay. So. It made me feel so great because they accepted everything and it made it a laughable moment and it was just so awesome it was so awesome and it made me feel so good and i couldn't wait to tell her like how accepting they were of the conversation and of us and of her and of me it was great my kids are fucking awesome i don't mean to keep curious it's probably not but my kids Well, our kids because they're her babies too so the kids are freaking awesome you guys should watch the videos with them and they're great they're the best i'm gonna try to add them into more videos because i want their personalities to shine through but they do get uh camera shy especially later the camera comes out she's like like she just like keeps it all in or you know she's just she's Lena. but um moving on yes my baby's on the but um so yeah so like i told her and so i came out to my kids uh 
I never actually came out to anyone else. I mean, I came out, I never think I directly came out to my best friend as in like, oh my gosh, so I'm a lesbian, do you like me or not still? Um, <laughs> Like my best friend's been my best friend for years, uh, for eight years now. She's been my best friend. Hey, bestie, how you doing? I love you. She's been my best friend for eight years. Um, she's been with me through a lot. Uh, she she knows of like the females that I've, I've dated and my actual girlfriends and everything like that. Um, I don't even know how I've actually told her, but uh, she never should be any different. I think I kind of just told her, like, so I have this attraction to females, or like, I want to kiss female. I don't know why I just told her something like that. I don't think I actually came out to her, like, bestie, I'm coming out and telling you. Like, I don't think I have. Um, moving along after I told the kids, in my mind, I'm like, now nah, I like, I don't want to my mom. And I don't really want to come out per se because I feel like coming out makes anyone in the LGBT community is separate from heterosexuals because heterosexuals don't have to come out as straight. They don't say, oh my God, I got something to tell you. I'm dating a guy, <laughs> like I'm straight. Or I'm dating a girl, I'm straight. Like no one has to say that. So I feel, I felt like I didn't have to say, oh my God, mama, I'm, I'm gay, I'm lesbian, I'm dating a woman or whatever. Um, plus I felt like people that didn't know because I was, uh, Dating guys, but also attracted to girls. They labeled me as bisexual. Um, I just don't like labels really in general. So I don't know. Kind of put you in a bubble. Like being bisexual means um, I'm attracted to guys and girls equally. And when it comes to the truth, especially of uh, me being able to be myself now, I'm 100% attracted to females only. I am not attracted to any male at all. I might find someone like, oh, he's cute, he's handsome, or whatever. But I'm not sexually attracted to any. I mean, to any. I'm not sexually attracted to anyone except my beautiful princess, my baby, my world. Uh, but I'm not attracted to guys like at all. All right. So one day, me and Ashley decide to go on this virtual date. I'm not gonna go into too many details about what that is. Maybe another video we will. Uh, we went on our virtual date. Um, I guess long story short is like we go to the movies at the same time watch the same movie I'm on the phone she's on the phone so that we feel like we're together and then we text during movies so it's like we have someone to talk to directly so it's our date night virtually so that you know that works a long distance relationship by the way so just keep that in mind um we also said that in another video if you watch our previous q and a's I'll probably try to card it here here wherever it ends up I'm card it uh, click on it some q and a's videos and um yeah moving on um so it was one of those things and uh, i came home one day after that and my family was over and my mom opened me was just telling my family like oh she was on a virtual day with her girlfriend like they're so cute and like oh my god and like i love it and they're so adorable blah, 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 blah. and i was just like girl did you just announce to people that i have a girlfriend like Bruh, I didn't want to tell you I had a girlfriend. How you going to tell the people I got a girlfriend? Like, you just going to blow my whole spine. Just tell the whole world I got a girlfriend. Okay. Well then. I guess it's time to say. <laughs> so I was just like, oh yeah, I don't you know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, growing, uh, finally when I was old enough, um, I feel like I do have people in my family that are LGBTQ. I'm not going to say who they are for their own privacy. Um, and like no one bad label them or judge them or anything like that so that's maybe the reason why I got like comfortable like not caring being seen with her in public stuff like that like even though I didn't out myself like I have a girlfriend and like I'm a lesbian or whatever you want to label me as um like I didn't feel like I had to be in a bubble and I kind of just didn't care like so if I down they all find out like I'm not going to deny it I'm not going to hide it I'm not going to be scared from it but I'm not going to announce it like all right so just in general so my mother kind of just said it without me actually having to tell her and then that same night like i kind of told babe like okay so i'm gonna post this picture of me and you one of the pictures that we had previously took like together um when i went to go one of the trips that i went i went to go see her and she said yeah like do it like she never was afraid of hiding it she's always been well when she concerns with herself she was always like 
an open book lesbian and not about hiding or whatever. So she was like, yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. And I'm like, okay. So I posted a picture on Facebook and the caption literally was just, she's my happiness. And we got so much love on that picture, like hundreds of likes and all these comments. And I'm so thankful that everything was positive. Like we didn't get not one negative comment, nothing crazy. It was like, congrats and I'm happy for you. I'm happy to see you happy. And you know, and the people that knew us in our circle separately, like they were happy. Like, oh my God, like I finally like posted da 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 and like, it was just, yeah. So I guess like that's how I came out to the world. Just by posting a picture on Facebook of us and that was she's my happiness. And, um, cause she is. Like she's my baby and I'm so grateful to be in the space where I am now. And I thank God for her every day because she changed my life, she changed my outlook on life and she changed she showed, allowed me to see what my full happiness is and uh, she makes me happy. I'm just, like I'm so in love with her and that's just my baby, she's my boy, she's my everything. And um, I don't know where I would be without her. And uh, yeah, because of her, because of you, babe, I am able to 100% be myself. I am able to 100% like just be happy. And then I knew because of her, the void that I was always missing. That void I was always like failing. And because I needed her. Like, I don't want to get emotional. <laughs> I really don't. But um, finding myself and being truly happy has been great. It has been a blessing. And I wouldn't change it for the world. I wouldn't change it for the world. And I get my, uh, the glare. I get, I have my, I don't give a fuck, you know, feeling anymore. Like, if anyone does give negativity or anyone doesn't agree, with me, with us, whatever. I don't care. Like, I don't care. I'm not scared of the world anymore. I'm not scared to be me. I said I wasn't gonna get emotional, but like, I'm not scared. And I'm proud to be with my baby, and I'm proud to hold her hand, and I'm proud to be with her in the street. It's just a really good thing. It's a really good feeling. And I'm thankful that, like, the people that matter the most to me, except my kids, my mom, my bestie, you know, my close, my close circle of, like, friends and family, they accept me, my sisters. So, yeah. I just want to say to anyone out there that, um, maybe if you relate to my story, like, because you're scared of society, or maybe you follow society's past and you're a female and you thought you had to be with a male and maybe you did get married or maybe you did have kids or something and maybe you feel like you're stuck because you know it's not your true self I hope that one day you get the courage to to live your true life and find your complete happiness because everyone deserves to be happy and everyone deserves to be able to be themselves and and not be scared to be judged but unfortunately in this world um we have a lot of people that judge but i just want to say to everyone in the lgbt community um whether you're out or you're in the closet hopefully you always do have someone that you can open up to and I and I pray for you. And I pray that that you will be okay. And I pray that you will be able to sorry for the noise in the background. And I pray that you will be able to be yourself. Yeah. Being being happy is a good thing. Being happy is a good thing. And it made me emotional because I guess I never thought I would be here. I never thought that I would be able 
to be myself or find like the true happiness. I thought I would always be missing that. And I got it. So yeah. Baby, I love you. I love you so much. You are the love of my life. And you know all these things, but I'm going to say for everyone else to also know. You are the love of my life. Um, you make me completely happy. I thank God for you every day. You are my soulmate, and I can't wait for a with you, and I can't wait to break distance and uh, have us together forever. If we both want, and our family. So hopefully, my story helps some of you. Sorry for getting emotional. I hope that my story helps some of you. Um, hopefully, you can be able to tell your parents or your friends or your bestie or your cousin or whoever is your guardian or just people in your circle and not be afraid and I pray that whoever you tell accepts you with open arms and doesn't make you feel less than because you're not at the end of the day we're all human and um we're all born the same we're all agreed the same we're all, like we're all gonna die the same I mean not the same but you know what I mean um so yeah uh, much love, many blessings. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. I will do my best to answer each and every one of you. If you have something that you want to talk about privately, our email address will be in the description. Our social medias will be in the description. Um, I'm really, and that's my finding out. I'm gay, lesbian, whatever. Uh, and coming out story. Love you, love you a long time, guys. Stay positive.